Hi guys. Now in this episode I wanna show you something really really interesting, I think. <laughs> I have here some kind of issue with my mains voltage in my studio because in the last week we installed a really big heavy uh, Chinese air conditioner system. I'm the killer air conditioner. I keep a look at you from my corner. I'm the killer air conditioner. I keep a look at you from my corner. And somehow, time to time, this uh, digital controlled PVM <laughs> variated uh, compressors inside and outside in the air conditioner somehow is interfering with my tungsten light system and with uh, few analog gears in my studio. Few days ago, I <laughs> almost ordered a really big, beefy, heavy. Uh, power conditioner from the Furman, but you know, uh, almost eight months ago, uh, I purchased a really nice, really professional, big and heavy uh, rack uh, cabinet system for my studio. Uh, space station, eh? <laughs> and this unit was inside. And I completely forgot about it. And uh, <laughs> I find it again. So I don't have to order nothing. Uh, new power conditioner because I have here a real beast of a machine. Now, a few words about this Protec uh, company. Uh, those guys in the 80s, 90s, or even maybe in the 70s, if I'm correct, but they was a really famous, really professional, really high quality custom builders for uh, television and radio and music production studios. In the past, uh, you know guys, when the studios have worked uh, with the old-fashioned technology, so with the analog, but they already started to drop inside more and more and more digital uh, solutions into the studios. In that time, the studios and the manufacturers, they don't have um, full answer for every problem. So this is when the uh, product came to the picture, to make spatial solutions for spatial, really weird uh, problems. I saw a few products from them in the past, uh, mostly in company installations. Uh, so again, these uh, video conferencing systems and, and this ISDN video <laughs> picture taxi, music taxi solutions from them and few uh, power switcher solution. But let me tell you guys, those units from the Protec in the past is bit like a tank and this looks the, always like a industrial atomic reactor or something similar. Now I have from them here a really special power conditioner, but <laughs> on a, let's say on a next level, yeah? Based on the cablings and on uh, technical papers, what I find inside in my uh, rack cabinet, I have a guess this is not only a power filter, conditioner, whatever. Absolutely old-fashioned German something. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> we have here a socket. Uh, two really nice, uh, absolutely German switch. And uh, like a military. <laughs> finish on the front and and it's really heavy it's about eight kilograms we have two individual power inputs here is one output and another output um, really nice uh, uh, grounding point and money ISC uh, 13 outputs now this section here this four is um, direct output. I think it's go together with this <laughs> battery, so like a main. And the next section, this uh, tree here, it has a five second delay 
and this one here, this three, has a 10 second delay. And uh, yeah, everything is just uh, really old fashioned, really German uh, quality. Absolutely built like a German tank. Huh? Now let me open it. And I hope we will see inside some really simple, but absolutely industrial kind of solution. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now I can understand <laughs> the weight. Eh? They didn't play with garbage. Eh? <laughs> Let me go uh, part by part uh, on the quality. Now the C20 connectors are made by a Beckman. Very nice. And the C13 output connectors are also made by Beckman. A really old German company with all sorts of certifications and really high precision and uh, quality control, whatever, and everything is just made in Germany. So no, no Chinese zoom here. Now these guys, these uh, normal wall sockets, uh, okay, <laughs> they are made uh, by Jung. <laughs> Now the Jung is the other really professional, really old uh, company here in Germany for mostly for home automation and for uh, home electricity. But of course they have industrial level of uh, products. Uh, so in the past, I think the Protec <laughs> don't want to play with the garbage. So they dropped here uh, absolutely beast uh, German products everywhere. Now the cabling, really nice job. Guys, uh, let me show you something. You see this grounding point here? <laughs> so every connector and every part from the boxy is connected right back to this uh, binding post. Now this uh, <laughs> grounding point here is the same binding post like what you can use for a grounding of your gears, huh? really nice job. And they did every cable and every connection on a proper way. Let me show you this for example. Huh? Even if the top plate is a really thick, really heavy metal and everywhere is metal, so there is a really a nice connection between the two plate, but they don't play it with the garbage and they don't want to take a risk. So <laughs> they did here again a proper uh, grounding cable as an extra. Uh, look at this. Nowadays, um, nobody is paying a big attention for this kind of uh, details. Huh? Yeah, it's even it looks weird, so not so elegant and not so electronic. Mm, PCB and processors, whatever. <laughs> this here is a pure black magic of mains voltage and uh, earth huh? for single phase. Now these connectors, it's, it has a feeling like some sort of ceramic, but this is plastic definitely. But I think it's, it's reinforced with some really weird uh, material, really hard. Guys, it's, it's really hard. Even this uh, uh, screwdriver is just, <laughs> it's just running on it. It's like, like a glass and <laughs> I cannot do even a scratch on it. Let me take out one cable. Really nice. So it's a right size from this uh, copper tube and it has a small uh, isolator, insulator here on the end. Really nice. Now the output connectors that are bridged together with this uh, heavy, big, beefy uh, copper roads. So <laughs> yeah, we can call these roads. It's about uh, two millimeter, something like this. <laughs> Just uh, attention on, uh, on the details. Maybe you guys can see. Huh? I hope you guys can see. From the top line, they went to the bottom line with an additional hard uh, cable connection, but <laughs> this copper road is placed inside into this uh, glass fiber, high temperature, high voltage uh, isolator tube, or what is this? And they used 
different color for the null and for the uh, sorry for the null and for the phase and the same story here with uh, the earth eh? so this is a, a hard copper wire in a in a glass fiber tube which is colorized eh? I think I can learn from them and uh, this switch is a proper switch so it's switching together the null and the phase and all the cables is just uh, fixed to the case everywhere maybe you can see here huh 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 I think the cabling is it's it's done on a proper way oh my goodness <laughs> look at this filter I'm not 100% sure about this EE logo here but if I remember good uh, from washing machines the EE uh, in our past is a part of the Bosch and the Siemens uh, corporation every Bosch uh, washing machine has inside at least one filter from the EE uh, this is a monster here let me you know what for comparison uh, I think I have here somewhere uh, the filter yeah here it is uh-huh it's the same so this is again made by this EE now this guy here this is a 6 amp mains filter for medical applications uh -huh. so now if I drop this guy to here <laughs> now you can see how big <laughs> is this one by the filter configuration the two filter is almost identical uh, yeah minus uh, this um, double capacitor solution here is went to the end this has a s plus and this also has a s plus you know what i'm not 100 percent sure if this filter is made for medical applications yeah but you know protec <laughs> i think they took the most highest quality filter from the market ah this is the timers uh, made by Eltaco. the Eltaco is the same uh, really high quality really professional company like a siemens these guys here mostly for home and industrial automation nowadays they have some new line which is the dx line so it's drastically increased the lifetime of your lamps of your motors of your uh, digital really sensitive gears t television set-top box computer whatever because every switching is happening when the voltage is on null <laughs> look at this old fashion led here <laughs> i think this is made in the 80s well, here you can set up the time which is now is staying on a five second and here with this next selector you can choose a multiplier huh? five multiply two this is 10 second the next one is set to five second and the multiplier it's uh, one so this is the five second line really nice really simple <laughs> solution for this problem without any kind of cpu and microcontroller and uh, magic and uh, internet and uh, internet of things eh? this is how they solved in the past uh, this two guy here it's a simple relay oh my god this protect you see this three transformer looking something something here no don't be fool this three guy here is not a transformer and not a coil this is a really interesting uh, but industrial solution for a really special problem and now i can understand the semantics and the technical specifications in my rec cabinet <laughs> this three guy is the answer so let me explain to you what is this here this boxy is containing um uh, electronic a relay and a negative uh, thermal coefficient uh, resistor so on the moment when this electronic inside is seeing the voltage difference between the null and the phase in this moment the relay is switched off but after 20 millisec or 50 millisec this electronic will engage the relay so it will shorten out the NTC resistor between the input and between the output so what this will do if you have any kind of uh, 
huge uh, inductive or capacitive load on a on a output of whatever then what can happen when you switch on okay the voltage the mains voltage of course this heavy inductive load can cause a huge current pike which is shifted from by some degree phase from the voltage and this spike can cause a lot of problem in your electrical system on other devices in another situation let's say for example you have a asynchronous or synchro motor connected to the same network where is all of your other studio gears which is uh, which is my case now at the moment eh? <laughs> because of this uh, air conditioner this NTC will create a really nice ramp okay on the beginning of uh, your power signal when you're switching on uh, why because you know the NTC resistors they have um, a magic um, behavior so a normal resistor if you heat them up of course uh, you increase the resistance now with the NTC resistors this is completely opposite so as the temperature rising okay the resistance will go down so this is how these NTCs can do this really nice uh, ramp on the beginning of the switched power huh? and after uh, 50 millisecond of course this mini computer here inside will shorten out this NTC resistor with a built-in relay and of course you can buy these guys nowadays <laughs> from the ASMAT and let me tell you each piece it costs around 100 euro I have a guess each of the timer section so the 5 second and the 10 second and the 0 second got one now these two guys this one and this one is labeled as a service and these two connectors are not a part of this uh, filtering solution at all I think I will modify this a bit mm, on a way I don't need uh, so much uh, service port maybe I will keep this one on the front for laptop and for other test gears but this back side I think this one I will connect it to one of the, the delay line maybe it will get a 5 second or 10 second or maybe the dialect but why I need a freaking power sequencer in my modern studio and why maybe you need also a power sequencer because of the computers let me explain to you your normal gears let's say amplifiers outboard effects uh, digital to analog converters or your audio interface they have a really short boot time but your computer has at least uh, like my one for example four and a half seconds something like this now what can happen if you switch on everything in the same time in your studio of course <laughs> first the power amplifiers will wake up this is maybe your external amplifier or this is the built-in amplifier in your monitor speaker and then your audio interface and then your computer until that moment there is no digital signal there is no clock source there is no work clock no nothing but when your computer is finished the boot sequence and all the settings are load up and uh, is starting your audio interface then of course your speaker and your amplifier will get um, kind of bumpy noisy from your digital to analog converter now with this solution I can turn this table fully now what I will do with this sequencer in my case I will attach my DAW computer and my Waves LV1 mixer computer to the zero second output then I will hook up here all of my additional digital outboard gears and on the last one I will hook up all of my monitor speakers and my external amplifiers the computers will wake up let's say in five seconds and after five seconds all of my additional digital gears and digital to analog converters 
will wake up and then when every clock signal and every digital signal is arrived to the right position with the right uh, clock then just after then I will switch on my monitor my analog monitor controller and my monitor speakers. On this way I will eliminate completely my bumps from my speakers and my uh, really weird um, missing clock error signals on my uh, Quantum 2 mastering processor. Now compare this solution <laughs> to the power conditioners what you can buy nowadays on the market. I find some short but really nice video about uh, Furman power conditioners. A guy is opened uh, two different one. One is um, commercial, let's say like commercial level and the other one is a professional level. <laughs> Believe me, uh, no contest compared to this. Eh? Hi, this is a video comparing two Furman power amp conditioners. And uh, this is what it looks like inside. Um, so that is a look inside the Furman power conditioner. And if I wanna buy no a heavy power conditioner with a power sequencer, I have to spend about 800 euro, something like this. And voila, <laughs> I got it for free. In the next video, I will drop this guy into my rack cabinet. I will do some recabling works around my devices because with this solution, I can solve money issues. Huh? And uh, stay tuned because uh, I think this will be a really interesting video. Huh? I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye. Hi. <laughs> you guys don't know what is this, eh? This is a very famous, very healthy desert from Hungary. The origin of Hungary and name is Turo Rudi. Huh? <laughs> and this chocolate, which is filled with curl, huh? it's in good condition and it's in the right temperature. Then you have to see here, oh my goodness, <laughs> nothing on the planet like this. I'm telling you guys. You have to find Turo Rudi, which is made in a city of Mate Salka. Oriash, it's meaning <laughs> giant, eh? and this Pötyash is meaning like a dotted. So this is a giant red dotted original Turo Rudi. If you are traveling to Hungary, first what you have to try is the original Oriash Pötyash Turo Rudi. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> it's finished.